I gotta warn you, Lezak. I said a karate with a Chinese grandmaster. Yeah. Well, I hope he showed you how to pull a fire poker out of your ass. Hey, everybody! I had something planned for you, but I had I'm scrapping that, and I want to show you something. Sometimes you can't tell people; you have to show them. So, um, let me start with the cadet paper. Last Friday, the staff of the cadet paper woke up and chose violence, as my sons would say. It was as if they, they took all of the frustration from the Corps who have been trying for three years to deal with this agenda that's being shoved down their throats and they just listed it all out. I equate it to Martin Luther, not Martin Luther King Jr. He was named after Martin Luther who started the Protestant Reformation when he nailed his 95 theses to the door of the Catholic Church. That started the Protestant Reformation. Similarly, they were, they have, they're finally fed up enough that they're willing to just say it all. And they put it all in this one article. I had a cadet contact me directly and um, tell me that they have had their commissions threatened. Not not the cadet paper staff. The some of the leaders within the corps last year were threatened that they could lose their commission if they did or if they didn't do these certain things. I'm not going to get into the details, but the threat is very real. <laughs> like there some they have had their real world careers held over their head to keep their mouth shut and to conform to this agenda. So it took a tremendous amount of courage for them to stand up and do this. The second thing that I wanted to report to you that I can't elaborate on because I need to get to these other pieces is that their courage has sparked courage from others. I have not seen for a long time the number of people speaking out and standing up on social media as I have in the last 24 to 48 hours in response to that article being posted. I even saw parents, one um, dad, I think I screenshotted his comment, was willing to just lay it all out there. And that is a huge turn of events. You have no idea how frustrating it's been to talk to parents behind the scenes. They say stuff, they wanna tell you stuff, but they will not say anything. Why? Same fear. They don't want their cadets retaliated against. So there's some of them are finding their courage and coming out of the shadows. Same with alumni. I've seen stuff with, from alumni that I've never even heard of before. They're standing up. So I think this week marks a tipping point and a turning point. <laughs> I just saw that now the Alumni Association is about to have their big fundraiser. Now, I have mixed feelings about this because I love the core. I love the faculty. I can't stand the administration. Because I care about the faculty and I care about the cadets, I don't want them to be starved out, you know, and be impacted, which the, there's no, they're not at risk of that happening. There's enough reserve at the Alumni Association, that they can sustain the cadets through this transition. But they have been ramping up all of their um, media stuff. And they have these videos that they put out where they have alumnus come on and say how much VMI has meant to them and the impact that it's had in their lives and all that stuff. So I watch those when I can and I enjoy them and I really respect the alumni. Um, I think a lot of them don't know what's going on because they're listening to what the Alumni Association is telling them and they're not looking at what's going on with the administration. There's a big disparity there. So I'm watching this video and this guy is saying, I'll put the clip in. And also you have come across situations where I taught you how to deal with uh, stress. And I think that uh, when you compare 
uh, graduates uh, from VMI to other military schools or other uh, ROTC programs that the stress from the rat line uh, in the end is beneficial. You learn uh, how to get along with people. You learn how to become an expert in the physical, the military, and the academic aspects of the school. No one could ever say it, it is a waste of time. Did you hear what he said? Okay, he's talking about the rat line. Now, in response to the cadet paper article that I referenced at the beginning, there was this big art, you know, back and forth on Facebook. And this one individual said, I'll put it on the screen. I don't have it memorized. Something to the effect of why do you even need the rat line? And I would have not caught this if the girl underneath that comment had not pointed it out. She's like, why is there a professor at VMI liking your comment? So I looked and sure enough, it's Tenny Sin, our resident Marxist, allegedly. Now, let me tell you where the disconnect is happening. The alumni are being sold. They're being sold the old VMI. They're being marketed to and solicited on the basis of the old VMI, the old rat line, the, the traditional, all of it, okay? They don't understand that Tinny Sin, who I'm gonna put up on the screen, she published this on her own social media profile so I can print it. She is associated with BLM, which I'll put in a clip, is a Marxist organization. Their radical Marxist agenda is bent on supplanting the basic building blocks of society, the family, replacing it with the state, and destroying the economic system that has lifted more people from poverty than any other. Theirs is a blueprint for misery, not justice. But what does the Black Lives Matter organization actually stand for? To find out, look no further than their leaders. Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and Patrice Cullors. Here's Cullors in a revealing 2015 interview. We actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. She has been behind all of this move to change the model of VMI to a Marxist model. And... I finally got an answer back from my FOIA trying to prove that she wrote the One Core One VMI plan, which is the template to revise the entire rat line, which this gentleman who's faithfully saying good things about VMI and he's saying how valuable the rat line is, he has no idea that there's a written plan to revise the rat line. And the cadet paper publishes an article trying to let people know this is happening and it's right in the document, but they're not publishing that document. They're not saying, oh, by the way, alumni, when you donate, just so you know, there's a, a Marxist that wrote a plan to revise the entire rat line system or eliminate it over the course of five years. Why five years? Because you got to get rid of anybody that remembers how it used to be and how it's supposed to be. And to revise the entire acad academic model the, I think it's pronounced, I don't want to mispronounce it, P-E-D-A-G-O-G-Y, I'll put it on the screen, which means the entire way that instruction is handled, the worldview that's implemented through that, probably the grading model for that, um, the way things are presented, whether it's done from a social emotional learning strategy agenda, the whole thing, the whole school is, is on track to be revamped and who is behind it who is the author well general wins doesn't want me to have the records that show that she wrote it allegedly in my opinion so he's protecting them under the superintendent's working paper but all you have to do make your own conclusions look at her resume and look at the original one core one vmi plan this is a Marxist revision of the entire college and the Alumni Association is still telling these alumni 
They're selling the donate. Give us money. Give us money. This fundraiser is coming up. The cadet paper, ju the cadets just told you all what's going on. Well, hold the alumni association accountable for holding the administration accountable. That's what's not happening. The alumni association has been kissing the backside of these Marxists and their cronies this entire time and not calling them on any of this. Okay, I'm gonna stop yelling at you. Yeah, well maybe they'll have a nice little bulldozer and we can finish this place off, tough guy. And the credit card bill will be a fat one, yeah. Mr. Tough Guy. Yeah, well we're keeping the champagne and the cheese, Joe.